Hi there, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipop Tarot, bringing you the July 2021 Love Tarot readings. These readings are general. Um, this reading is for Capricorn. Uh, if it doesn't resonate with you, then feel free to check your moon and rising signs. If you're not sure how to, or if you're not sure what your moon and rising signs are, there's a link below that will take you to a website to tell you. Um, we're going to look at your past, present, and future and get some clarification as well as get a couple of messages, love messages, advice cards, and a heart song card. Um, I'm not currently doing private readings and I haven't started with extended yet, um, but hopefully those will be coming in the future. So let's see what we got for you, Capricorn. In the past, you got Nine of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Temperance card. Tough business there. Tough business there, Capricorn. Get some cards for the present. Ooh, too many cards. Oh, oh and they want to come out, so we're going to take them. That night, oh. That Knight of Swords card came out twice. Uh, I guess we're just going to take all of these two. Because <laughs> these cards want to come out for you, Capricorn. Okay, so in the past we have the Nine of Swords, um, which is a card of like anxiety, sleepless nights, crying in your bed type of uh, feeling with the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a lot of conflict, a lot of tension, a lot of competition. And the Temperance card, uh, which is patience, keeping things balanced. So I think, um, Capricorn, you've been trying to be really patient. You dealt with a very uh, conflictual situation, one with a lot of conflict, a lot of problems, a lot of competition that kind of kept you up in your bed, but you're really trying to be patient about the situation. Uh, in the present, we have lots of cards. We have... The Seven of Swords, we have the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Pentacle, Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So in the present, um, if this hasn't been happening or it could be happening in the very near future um, or is currently happening, we have the Seven of Swords card, which is a card of deception, um, lies, someone's being deceitful. Um, the Seven of Cups, which could mean a couple of different things. It could be... Um, you're uh, having, you have lots of options of people or you're having like, um, you're, you're dreaming and having like, you want different things, wish fulfillment. Or you're just, you're just really unclear. You have lots of options. So I think this deception card, I think this kind of goes along with the past. Like maybe currently you have a lot of options, um, but you're fearful of this deception. You have the Knight of Swords, which is um, someone moving forward quickly, could be a message, so bringing you a message. But I think this is a good situation. Um, someone bringing you a good message. Um, they have clarity. They want to have teamwork with you. And they want to have the Ten of Cups with you. Which Ten of Cups is like the high, one of the highest love cards. Stable, family, lots of love, lots of emotion. Wedding, soulmate type situation. So I feel like in the past, I think you're fearful of this deception. You might have a lot of options or this person might have a lot of options, but they want to have teamwork with you and they want this 10 of cups with you. So what do we have for the future? So it looks like things are starting to go your way. Um, you have the hanged man, which is a, um, a pause a surrender, letting go, healing. Um, I think you're letting go of this pain and this deception that you felt in the past. You're letting go of this conflict. You're letting go of this crying in your bed at night um, because you notice that things are shifting. The wheel of fortune. So good karma is coming your way. Things are shifting. The dynamic is moving in your favor. That's great. That's great. Um, you notice that you have these options. And you have choices to make to move forward. 
what are you moving forward towards? I don't even think I'm going to need to clarify these cards, to be honest with you. What you're moving forward toward, what are you moving forward towards? You're moving forward towards a king of pentacles, someone that's extremely stable, someone that wants a solid relationship, someone that is financially sound, someone that is mature, someone that wants to be a provider and provide for their family and wants you to provide for them. And the Hierophant, which is a higher level commitment. Do I see marriage in your future? Perhaps, Capricorn. Perhaps. I would say a solid yes, really. <laughs> um, I will do a little bit of clarifying. So I want to see why um, why were you stuck in this place previously, the crying in your bed at night. Holy smokes, these cards are flying out. Um, yes, again, Five of Swords. Like somebody trying to win at all costs and be um, just kind of careless, hurtful. Um, the Queen of Swords, someone that could be detached, very uh, straightforward and often harsh. You were kind of feeling blinded and not sure what to do. But you did, you did end up moving forward, which brings you to the present. Um, you're still worried about this deception. You're still worried about the Seven of Cups. Or this person perhaps having lots of options. But they're coming towards you. So let's get some information on this person coming towards you. Can I get some information about this person coming towards Capricorn? The High Priestess. The Seven of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. And the Ten of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so I think if you use your intuition... Oh, you will really know that this, you will, you will know who this person is once you meet them, if you haven't met them. I feel that there's going to be a strong connection to each other. You're going to use your intuition and really go inward and spiritually feel connected to this person. They're going to be somebody that's really hardworking, willing to put the work in. Again, they want to be your teammate. They're willing to put the work in and they also want the Ten of Pentacles with you or they're going to provide. They're stable. They're, this is like the family card. This is the blended family. If you already have children's family card. So look at this. You have the, you're like the most wanted hand of the deck. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Uh, that looks fantastic, Capricorn. I'm super excited for you. I feel like you're healing. The karma is shifting. You're making a choice. This king of pentacles wants a higher level commitment. So let's see if there's any other things that... Um, yeah, ace of wands. Yep, eight of swords. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, so you've you've been stuck up in your head. Um, nine of swords you had in the beginning. Eight of swords. You've been stuck up in your head. Um, the cherry card came out next. You're making forward movement. You're starting this new start of passion. New start in passion. New start in love. I joke because uh, some readers call this the magic stick. So that's kind of what I do now because I think it's funny. <laughs> A passionate new start. And you're moving forward. Yay. All right, Capricorn, let's see. Um, this is the Romance Angel Oracle Cards by Noreen Virtue. We're going to just quickly see if there's any advice they want you to have, Capricorn. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So um, actually in this picture, you can see this couple moving off to be alone together. It looks as if they've been just married and they're moving forward to be alone together. And make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to. Yes, using that intuition Trusting it. Moving forward. Nice. Um, this is the Silhouettes deck by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Um, sometimes these are messages from like a person. Sometimes it's just a general advice card. Sometimes it doesn't always resonate with the reading. But um, we'll see what they want you to know, Capricorn. Spinning out of control. You're always my you were always my peace. Without you, everything in my life is falling apart. Losing you has brought my life into a state of chaos. So this could be how you're going to feel about the person that's coming. How you feel like without them, you are out of control. 
And then Bridges was the card on the bottom. It says, know which ones you need to burn and which ones to rebuild and which ones to avoid. So again, like using your intuition to get what you want out of this situation, Capricorn. This is a really good reading. I'm actually really excited for you, Capricorn. I'm, I'm silly because I get excited for you. Um, I am burning with passion for you. And I will do anything to bring you happiness. I don't know why I keep showing you guys these because they're backwards, but um, nice. I think your person is very passionate and loving towards you. They're willing to, they want to give you the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, I think that's awesome. And the magic stick. Uh, I didn't say what these are. I don't think these are White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volumes 1 and 2. Um, that's what these last two decks I'm using are. Love isn't always on time. Please be patient with me. I think that might be what you're going to be saying to the person. I love your sense of humor. Nice. And the last thing that we're going to use today, Capricorn, is the Heart Songs of the 90s. Um, this is also Celestial Forecasts by Carrie. Um, I really like these because they have song lyrics of the 90s songs, which is both two of my favorite things, looking at lyrics and 90s music. So we'll see what cards pop out um, and what resonates. The One by Elton John. So I think this is how this person perhaps might be feeling about you. Um, or you might be feeling about them eventually. In the instant that you love someone, in the second that the hammer hits, reality runs up your spine and the pieces finally fit. And all I ever needed was the one, like freedom fields where wild horses run. When stars collide like you and I, no shadows block the sun. You're all I've ever needed. Elton John, the one. All right, Capricorn, I hope um, you enjoyed this reading. I hope something resonated with you. Um, until next time, take care. See you later.